Askadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, My Ninjas. My name is Joey Moss, and today we're in front of the camera. Not only that, but check out that backdrop. Garbage. It's okay. Ball around a budget. Moving past all this, damping sphere. We're talking about damping sphere today. It is a two drop. Emphasis on the two drop. What does it do? Well, besides being arguably the best card printed in Dominaria so far, according to the spoilers we've seen, this card, if a land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces a colorless instead of any other type and mount. That's its first ability. So off rip, what does that mean? Well, it means a shit ton if you're going to modern. Modern players are going to be running for the hills against this card. They're not going to want to see it. It's going to be sideboarded in every almost every single modern sideboard it's going to be played until tron becomes a thing of the past or at least until tron figures out something else not only that but the second ability is going to shut down another deck also the first ability shuts down eldrazi temple so you got the urzaland shut down you got eldrazi temple shut down that alone is nasty on top of it each spell a player cast costs one more to cast for each other spell that player has cast this turn who can think how who, who that's going to impact? Who's it going to impact? Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da, bum. Storm! It's going to shut down Storm decks as well. So two of the most annoying, aggressive decks in Modern are going to be shut down as a result of Damping Sphere. That is nasty. Now where do I get off thinking that this card could be an uncommon rare? Let me explain my logic. Here's where I came up with this crazy crazy idea what other card can you think of that was marked as an uncommon it saw a lot of use after it came out there was some speculation in the beginning it was at 450 five bucks a pop prior to pre-release and once that card hit and people saw how impactful it was spiked right up anyone guess aether revolt aether revolt's fatal push You'd be lucky to get one of those in an entire booster box, let alone a couple bundles or fat packs you'd purchase. Fatal Push is played heavily in Standard if you're running black. And it is used quite often in Modern as well. Heavily used card. Watsy knew what they were doing when they printed that thing, this hybrid, rare, mythic kind of scarcity. They knew what they were doing. That card was sitting at $4.50 to 5 bucks a piece. Prior to release, Damping Sphere is sitting at $4.50, 5 bucks a piece right now, prior to pre-release. Conspiracy? I think not. It might be. I'm not 100% on this. I have no facts to back this up other than my own little intuition. Sure. Other than some intuition here, that this card is going to follow in the footsteps of Fatal Push, in rarity at least. It's going to be used so freaking damn much. I can't see it being an uncommon. It should be a rare or mythic, but it's not. It's an uncommon, which tells me, or at least makes a good argument, that this card is going to be a scarce uncommon. It's going to be just like Fatal Push. You'd be lucky to get one in a booster box. I need to know what you guys think about this. I believe it's going to be freaking huge. I think this card's going to shoot up to 10 bucks. If I'm right, it's going to shoot up to 10, 12 bucks. Everyone's going to want a copy in their sideboard, especially in modern. If you run up against Tron, it just shuts it down. Same with Storm. This card's badass. If you can, get in on some right now. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But oh my gosh, I doubt it. I highly doubt I'm going to be wrong on this one, guys. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. As always, POA, baby.